Fox NASCAR is in Sparta, Kentucky. It's a huge NASCAR weekend at Kentucky Speedway, and it all starts with a doubleheader in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And it's one hot night in Kentucky. 88 right now. The high temperature today was 95 degrees. It's going to stay in the 80s through the end of this race tonight. And that's Michael Annette. This is one of his best tracks. Let's get the command. Here's from Shady Rays, the founder, Chris Ratterman. My name is Chris Ratterman, and I'm the founder of Shady Rays Sunglasses. Our team is proud to present the Shady Rays 200 at Kentucky Speedway. Our mission at Shady Rays is to fight hunger in America with every order. With your support, we have donated over 10 million meals to date, with tens of thousands more being donated every single day. From all of us at Shady Rays, thank you. And now, drivers, start your engines. Last five races at Kentucky, we've had five different winners, and something tells me we could make it six tonight. The green flag when we come back. Race. Here we go. We'll see how that selection is. We are green at Kentucky. Those two cars matched up pretty good. Good push. It's going to get out to the lead. Jeb Burton in the eighth. Oh, no. Already going around. Starting third. Oh, Huge damage. Man. And he's not the only one. Boy, this feels like Pocono Brandon all Jones. over again. Brandon Jones went around opening corner at Pocono, and here he is, turn two, lap one at Kentucky. And it was all when Jeb Burton went spinning from that third starting position. You know, the first thing that I saw, and I think you saw it too, Chad, is there's something coming off the left front of the, the of the nine car of Grax. And I don't know if that was just dirt on the track. The track may have been dirty. It's always slick down there when you go off in the first corner. If you watch this nine, yeah, watch right. the left front. Right up front. See, it's... Could be... And then he slid up right in it. What? Right in his tire track. So I don't know if Could something was leaking or... I don't know. Something was weird with the nine car and the smoke coming out of the left front. Oh, nice job by Annette to get around, but Brandon Jones just could not avoid it. Terrible luck right there. Unfortunate for everybody. You don't want to do that first corner like that but again it was almost it was something that was strange about that yeah look at See that, that that's fluid. Car. yeah he's got fluid he's slipping the fluid i would say what a what a crazy start to this race the problems with alfredo before we go green and this with jeb burton he almost lost the lead but he was able to hang on and then he pulled away here he is noah gregson maybe giving a break to his teammates so jeb burton doesn't lose another lap after that opening lap crash back to the line opening stage goes to Noah Gregson and that will be his sixth of the year more than anybody else Burton hangs on for second Cendric was third Chastain and Alfredo the top five Annette Haley Allgaier Sieg and Moffitt scoring points Noah Gregson dominating early at Kentucky nobody though in the same stratosphere as Noah Gregson who has led 55 of 59 laps and is looking for his second stage win of the night. On a rail. I was looking at that again, going back to I've said a thousand times with this traction compound, you can see it. If you get into turn three, you can almost see the sheen above it where you can't get in that yet. It's like it's it's really slick up there. I sure hope they get that burn in before we get there Sunday. <laughs> Engine number nine blowing the whistle loudly in Kentucky. Gregson sweeps the stages. Cindric, Briscoe, Chastain, hurts your top five. So, Ben, it's, you got to drive through there. It's not going straight. He's had two top tens in the last three races. Included, oh, and we got a... Uh. Caution, I do believe Brandon Brown into the wall, and there's the yellow. And that is such a big deal because he is battling to stay above the cut line to make the playoffs. He came in six points in front of Myatt Snyder. Be interesting to see what happened here. I've been watching him on some of the, the in cars and stuff, and he had his hands full. He looked like he was fighting a loose race car. Justin got loose and got into him. 
Yeah, we talked question. about that in the break. Justin Haley, also another car that I've been watching. It looked to me like he'd been fighting a loose race car. Got loose underneath them and unfortunately ended their day. 45 laps to go in the race. Everybody's in their window. Everybody will come down and get some fuel, and they can make it to the end of the show. You know, Doug Randolph. You want to talk about jumping the cushion. You get in that, it'd be like just like being on ice. Whoa. Oh, oh. And here's trouble. There's two cars above it right oh. there. Both Chastain into the 0-2 of Moffitt. No caution yet. They're trying to save it, and there it is. Wow. They did an unbelievable job of hanging on to those cars, but eventually the contact and maybe some debris, NASCAR forced to throw a caution for a sixth time tonight. Again, yeah, just two cars going for that same real estate. I mean, obviously that light gray down on the bottom is no man's land. You get in it, you slide up, you lose the nose as he did, and got right into the O2. Of the uh, I wasn't very happy with him there. Nah. Mm. Just the car wouldn't stick. And then once you get above that, once he got into him and got above that, into that sheen like I'm talking about, it, the rest was history. Sure. We have a caution on the track. Seventh of the night. Oh, oh, hate that. Just talked about Colby Howard, and he's obviously gotten into the wall. Tires look up. I, I wondered if that contact maybe had cut a tire, cut but a that tire. would have been be on the, on the side. left side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's hard to tell by the damage. The left front fender's definitely got a lot of damage to it. It's overtime, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Austin Sendrick, Chase Briscoe on the front row, Junior Motorsports teammates, Noah Gregson, Justin Allgaier in row two, Riley Herbst, Justin Haley, row three. Here we go, folks. Who's going to be? Do you crowd them down through one and two? Yes. Everything. All the above. Push, push, push. <laughs> Both things have stepped up pretty good. Oh, boy. Good pushes. Down on your door. Right rear. Still there. Clear. Outside. 22 got better right there. there he was on, oh! Both cars on the inside are very loose. Teammates got together with one another. But that's going to cost both of those Riley. junior motorsports cars big time. Riley Herbst jumps up to second. He's working on a career best. And here comes Ross, Ross Chastain, Chastain to third. Yeah. Big mishap for them. Both of those cars on the inside line got in there, got loose. Noah Gregson just got in the wall back there as well. One more lap for Austin Sendrick. Next flag will end it. He's won twice on a road course. Those victories coming last year. But he's never done it on an oval. This is going to be a big night for him. Good for him. Stuck with his plan, right? Everybody was questioning. Oh, big crash. Big Caution crash. is out. Seven. And Austin Sendrick, for the first time in 2020, is a winner. He gets it done at Kentucky. Seven was losing a lot of track yeah, position. Yeah, both of those cars. Yeah. You know, it's something about that. I saw earlier in the race, the 22 car got up in that. When you got up at where that sheen is in that uh, traction compound, it's like they couldn't react. And that's what happened to the 7. When the 9 got into the 7 and moved him up there, you saw him get really, really loose. But then he got into the next corner in 3 and 4 and still didn't have the tires underneath of him. And all of a sudden, now you're wrecked. Man, what a disappointment. Window. Jamie Little is there with the driver of the 22. Third career win. Austin, you did it. You won on an oval. How long have you been waiting for this moment? I don't care, Jamie, what shape the track is. If it's dirt, oval, I don't care. I'm just happy that this snap on four Mustangs in victory lane. We've come so close all year. These guys have given me so many awesome race winning cars with snap on celebrating their 100th anniversary with their, their makers and fixers program. It's awesome to have them on the car. These cars don't get bit without snap on tools. So I'm pumped. This is, uh, this is awesome. I, I'd love to be able to come back and show another performance like that tomorrow night but uh, all, all the credit to my guys for getting me here austin talk about the past i mean just last week the heartbreak you were on the road course at indy and you're battling with the 98 here you are battling with the 98 again on the restart oh man i mean i love the guy but he's he's won enough geez <laughs> at least like oh I, that was those restarts were, were a lot tougher than i was thinking they'd be uh, obviously he never got out of the gas till he got loose like he should have um but oh, I'm just, I'm just so happy. Thank you, thank you to Roger. Thank you to everyone at the team for, for believing in me. I believe this is a championship team, and uh, th this is the start of many wins for the season. And uh, I'm so happy that it came here. Austin, good news. You get to try for it again tomorrow night. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Austin Sendrick, Chase Briscoe, really good friends. They were teammates in the trucks driving for Brad Keselowski and now winning races, trading weeks in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. With a million dollars to the winner, NASCAR's All-Star Race brings up the best from the biggest stars. NASCAR Cup Series All-Star Race, live from Bristol, Wednesday at 8.30 Eastern on FS1. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.